Welcome to the Mint 400. All right, welcome to the 2023 MIT 400 right here. This is our pit area as we're getting ready to head towards the start line. Max is in uh, 2977 and I'm in 2907. We're both pulling up here to the start line. You see Max lines up next to uh, Can-Am. And uh, we both had brand new belts, so I told him don't accelerate too hard. And he was still able to pull on the Can-Am, which was pretty cool. Max is getting ready to head out of the, the infield out for lap number one. <laughs> Alright, so here's my dad lined up next to uh, Articat XX, uh, Brody Akins. Here he is taking off the line. Just rolling over these jumps, making sure um, this ant hill coming up. There's a lot of cars crashing off of it. Blades telling him slow down, slow down. on lap number one. This is a really rocky, rough section, and um, we talked about it before that we just wanted to be careful and not get any flat tires. And pretty excited with the uh, the actual tire wear and the tire situation on the speed tires. This is the first time we have raced the um, the 35 um, on the um, in, in the UTV class. Um, we actually put some measurements on our 35 when we were about three quarter of an inch too tall. So we took about 375 thou off the outside of the tire so that we fit inside that 33 inch rule. So this is a, a tire that we have um, shaved so that we fit inside the rules, which gave us a little bit better sidewall to get a little better traction and have a little better ride. Pretty much all ran the same pace. Yeah, basically we started with brand new belts. We didn't get the opportunity to, to bet our belts in. We changed them the night before. And um, so we were actually breaking in the belts for the first uh, three miles, which was a good opportunity to warm the cars up nice and slowly. If, um, if you're wondering why we didn't just take off accelerating like a bat out of hell off the start, um, we were, like I said, bedding in belts. You know, Max did not have the latest um, Gen 3 gearbox. So he was on a, a Weddle gearbox. Uh, this is myself here, 2907, and I did have the new gearbox. Probably drove it a little harder, um, but unfortunately I spent too much time on the side of the road as I lost a starter. And um, we um, we started to burn a little bit of oil with my car and oil level got low and when it gets low, it doesn't just put it in limp mode, it goes to full shut off. And um, I ended up starting my car about 10 to 15 times throughout the race. And unfortunately about the, either probably the 14th or 15th time, went to hit start and it was all done. So. Um, that is because we have removed the compression releases off of the cams and it makes it a little bit harder to start when we got compression. Mint 400 is a tough course and we were able to learn a lot with the race cars as there's a lot of production stuff on the race cars. Uh, as you see Max here is pulling into the main pit and um, every pit uh, the plan was is we would just take our time do a good look around on the car and see Jason Morgan's up under the back of the car there and he um, he changed the power steering reservoir. Um, you can see that kind of sticking up between two fans there. We were trying a new component on Max's car, a different one than what I have. And this is part of running multiple cars. You get to learn more things. And we did crack a power steering um, reservoir, but the reservoir was actually mounted directly to the, um, the power steering pump itself, more like a production car. How was the car in the big bumps? No, car, car rode great as long as we were going fast. I mean, this car loves to go fast. So 
So it was a uh, it's great ride through the bumps, that's for sure. And here we're coming back into main pit, heading out for lap four. Um, right here we noticed that we had a little leak and we uh, lost a belt, so we took the clutch cover off, let that out. Cole got out, went to the bathroom, and then we went back out on lap four. You can see there, Jason Morgan is uh, just checking the bottom rod in. lights oh and as long as we uh, kept the lights on it was good I remember at the start of the race my dad was telling me hey why do you have that light bar on I was like, hey, I think we're just gonna be cruising I'm gonna keep the light bar on and what do you know it came to use right here we're on lap four um, this is just another lap traffic and I think we're heading back out to like mile 70 ish we head out right here we hit this first jump and then we hit this roller right here land and the arm comes off we had, we didn't really know exactly what happened we didn't know if the spindle broke the arm broke the tie rod broke we weren't really sure wheel fell off we weren't positive but I got out of the car noticed that the arm broke um, we just started talking about it I thought that I thought that the arm snapped and went through the car so I thought it went through Cole's legs Good thing it didn't. And Max and Cole had to fix this themselves. So uh, they were able to change out the lower A-arm. You see right here, it's got the orange uh, A-arm on the right front. No, I have to wash the car. Ready? Ready? No. It's already dirty. <laughs> Hey Blake, you're washing the car. How'd you put the it, was, it, it was a while <laughs> since we got finished, especially a, we didn't finish too much in the XX and the second right. race Speedy TV finished. Um, it was awesome to be finish line. Man. All right, so we're here at Prim Nevada, the Min 400. Um, race, it was race day today and we were doing good. We were 11th in our class. My dad was 11th overall. And on the second lap, I started picking up the pace, got up to fifth in class. And then I heard my dad had a problem with the starter. And then about when I pulled over at race mile 80, he was at race mile 38. I was stopped for a serpentine belt with a dead battery because it didn't charge the alternator. So we took that out of a class 6 truck and we changed that out. After that, we got going, got back to the pit, changed the belt, and then changed the power steering tank. And then we got back to lap 4. Everything was going good. Headed out, race mile 70. Uh, the front right lower arm, uh, right at the knuckle broke and then we changed the arm out there and we just got back.